Hello and good evening and welcome to another video and uh, today it's the Bank Holiday Monday uh, yes, the Bank, Bank Holiday Monday uh, follow me to Sunday yesterday and uh, it'll be the fifth video I've done in a row uh, for five days over the Easter holidays so one for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday I think yes, that's right, and now Monday so the, major the majority of those have been just vacuuming videos because I haven't got anything to unbox and. Um, I've been, as I say, I was looking in Argos again today to see is there anything I really want to get today and um, I was thinking about and then I thought about no we won't I thought shall I get a shark just for the hell of it and then I thought no I just really can't get a shark I was quite impressed though with the one that Roger did um, I think it was a couple of weeks ago he did one of the, those um, rockets which had the really quiet motor in and on, at the moment they're on special offer in Argos for £180, but it's not the one with the true pet, it's not the one with the um, electric turbo brush on. And um, I thought, I really w wouldn't mind trying one of those, just, just you know, just, just say I, I tried one. And then when I saw then it had a carpet performance of D, and I thought, no, a carpet performance of D, what's the point? Um, they have to do better than that, you know, it's all very well to say it's an A++ energy, it's only 450 watts, well, I think that's how much it was, but then when it's a carpet performance of only D. And then, and then I looked at the, uh, the, there's the NV681 UKT that Curry's has got on special offer at the moment for 189.99. That's the cheapest I've ever seen those for. It's the newer version of it with the quieter motor, it's got 80 decibels. And I thought, well, what about one of those? But then that hasn't got the duo clean head on. And then they've got the Geo Clean one, haven't they, for 229 And that was the one with the, uh, the Pet Tool one as well. So I thought, hmm, I don't know. I don't know, if I get a shark and then I put that on my channel, everybody's going to say, oh, what did you say about shark? You said they were rubbish, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and uh, how am I going to live it down if I have got a shark on this channel? How am I going to live it down? So, I decided not to get one in the end. But there's always my 1,000 subscribers um, special that I'll have to do, as I think everybody has to do when they get to 1,000 subscribers. Um, at the moment it's on uh, 976 I think it is, so we're about 24 away from the 1,000 mark. So I'm going to have to put my hand in my wallet and go out and buy something for that. I don't know what I'm going to get. I really don't because... I saw the uh, there's a Hoover cordless, I don't know... Um, What's it called now? The Velocity Cordless it was for £129.99 and that's the cheapest I've ever seen that as well. But I think that's pretty much exactly the same as what the Vax Air Cordless is going to be like. It's only an 18 volt and I thought, I tried one in Curry's and wasn't terribly impressed with the uh, suction on it. I thought this is pretty lousy. And then there's the Velocity. Uh, Roger did a demo of it. Um, how many weeks ago now? It was all with the awfully loud brush roll on it. Everybody commented on it underneath saying how loud it was. But that was the old version. And then I saw, well, the new version of it's 120, but it's only got a 6 metre cable. So I thought, well, what about one of those? And I thought, well, how often am I going to use that? Maybe once it'll end up upstairs, never used again. I want something really that I can use more, more than sort of once for a demo and then it disappears upstairs. So it'll have to be, I don't know, I really don't at the moment, what I'm going to get for this 1,000 subscriber video. If I ever get there. Because when I looked at it last night, it was on 677. I looked at it this morning, it was on 676. So people are unsubscribing. Hmm, never mind. What will come will come. Anyway, what we're going to use today, I thought we were going to use the Hoover Turbo Power 2. But when I put the belt on it and started it this evening and put it down on the carpet, the belt was no good. So it, uh, it's these cheap Bojack belts that I get from Buy Spares again. I went, even though I stored it with the belt off, by the time I put it on, it just wouldn't agitate the carpet and the brush roll kept stopping. They're a real nuisance and uh, because you have an extra long um, belt on the Turbo Power 2, it's, uh, I thought, well, we can't be having this. I'll have to try and order some more belts for them. So I thought, well, what about the Kirby? I wanted another vintage machine. We've had a vintage Hoover yesterday. We had the Sanyo. Um, why not have the Kirby? The Kirby Heritage. You can't get more vintage than these, can you? It's uh, When you look at the... The, 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 the classic design of these, this is uh, first came out in this design in 1970 before I was even born with the classic. 
and these carried on until 1990 for 20 odd years. This one's smack bang in the middle of the two, it's from 1981, this one is. Um, this is the old original machine, it's got the original bag on. I do have another Kirby Heritage one upstairs with the uh, Heritage 2 bag, which runs okay, but uh, this one's the better of the two, so I put that bag on this to make it all original. And we'll use this one for today's demo. It's only going to be a downstairs one. I've put some um, particles down on the floor, as I did yesterday, so we'll have the same format again. Because I think this one should provide a um, bit of agitation because everybody likes to see the particles bouncing up and down on the carpets, don't they? Well, almost everybody. Almost everybody. There are those people that would insist that uh, it's not to industry standards and, you know, that uh, it doesn't show anything and... Uh, I'm not going to go into it now, but... There are those people that insist that agitation is not necessary, OK? There are those people that insist that you can leave all the, um, the small particles in the bottom of your carpet and it won't harm the carpet. Those people, they don't know what they're talking about, quite frankly. Anyway, we all know that uh, to get a really, uh, to make your carpet last as long as possible, that you need deep clean it, and you need to get all those tiny particles out of the bottom of the carpet. It's no good leaving them there because every time you're walking over that carpet, and the busier your carpet is, those little particles are grinding away at the carpet fibres right at the base of the pile. And all you end up doing is then when you're vacuuming, all you're doing is sucking out the carpet fibres that are breaking away. And all you do, all you do is you fill your bin up with carpet fibres. So you need a deep cleaner and the Kirby is one of the best deep cleaners you can buy. It's not the most practical, because um, I'm trying to look at that now. I'm waffling again here, we need to get on with it, don't we? Um, so when we've done the downstairs here, I'll just put the tools on it and we'll do a bit of dusting with the tools. to show how impractical a Kirby was for the tools. That's the only drawback. Oh, and they're heavy as well. Anyway, that's all plugged in. It's ready to go. We'll put the camera down and we'll start. Kirby Heritage. I've even put my red top on today to match the bag. Doing what Roger normally does. But I haven't got any red socks, so never mind. There we go. Let's go on with it then. Kirby Heritage 1 from 1981. 37 years old this year, this one, Shane.
noise that that leaves in the carpet, that really does pull the pile up. We're talking about a machine that's 37 years old, that is. It's not the easiest of machines to push, mind you. Over there, that's why they put the tech drive on on the laser models. Right, let's have a look at the power it's using as well. And 20 watts. That's using less power than that little shark rocket that Roger demonstrated last week. Right, onto the handheld cam from now on. This. This one's getting to the stage of needing a new belt actually because I can hear the old squeaking come from it occasionally so might have to have a new belt on soon. cable gets underneath it and if I damage the cable I'll be in trouble. We've seen a bit of agitation on there so they are pretty good for it aren't they? Okay.
strong case to be said for cordless sometimes because sometimes they just get right in your way, cables do, don't they? free the cable again now unfortunately it's got stuck it's got stuck round the chair I want to think how much quicker it would be with that Dyson to do this room they were very good but as I say cords they just really get in your way let's see what it does on this carpet in here on the carpet tiles Tell you what, I mean it's a deep cleaner, but it's a real pain in the ass to push that machine is. It really is a struggle in places on that carpet. I was getting so bogged down with it against the pile. You can see now why they put tech drive on these things because it pulls down on that carpet so hard that uh, it does make it in certain areas of that carpet a real struggle. And again in here, it was clamping down onto the mats and I couldn't move it from there. It's not really very good on this type of mat. It's glued, it's stuck down in places to stop it moving around on the hard floors. But in other places it's a little bit loose, so that's where we could see the agitation on the areas where it could pull the, um, pull the mat up to the nozzle and then beat or sort of agitate the mat. But um, no, it's not, uh, it's not the best of cleaners to use on a regular basis. It's one of the ones that I would use to get a deep clean on the carpet, but I wouldn't want to use it every day. It is a struggle. That one over there is so much easier to use with the tech drive on the back. Okay, let's put the tools on it then and uh, I will show how to uh, just convert these. I'm sure most people know how a Kirby converts anyway. I'm just a little bit tired tonight so if I'm not really with it it's because I'll be back at work again today and fifth video in a row so this will be the last one from me for a while. Okay, let's just take that off. And then put the hose on. And this is what you'd have to do with a Kirby if you wanted to use the hose. And you still have to do that now with brand new Kirby's because they are pretty much the same as this. You have to take the head off to put the hose on. Right. Let's put the um, dusting brush on and we'll do the, uh, the, the do some uh, dusting with it. Again, make sure the cable's out of the way. So put that on it. Okay.
I haven't, I've only got uh, no hands free now, so I can't lift the uh, things up on here. So, it's a little bit more of a faff, isn't it? I'm sure you'd agree. I do like my Kirby's, but I don't like their practicality. Um, they're one of those cleaners I'll get out um, maybe once a fortnight, once a week if I need to, and do a deep clean on the carpet with. I don't like using them in hose mode. So, um, there is the date on this one, for anyone that wants to know. 8110. So, so, October 81. And we're out of time. I'll see you again. <laughs>